What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here and being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the politics and BS. So people are calling out the struggles that Trump is having as he is doing these speeches. And so let's just go ahead and get into this. Too crazy, really? Just this week, it was reported that an illegal alien, if they, and you just look at this, what's happening. That an illegal alien, if they, I mean, what is even going on there? He is deeply unwell. That's Donald Trump on Saturday. He gave a speech in Pennsylvania. He could barely make it through the speech. And with each of these traveling fascist circus events that he calls rallies, he just gets cognitively worse and worse and worse. He's basically up there just just mumbling a bunch of nonsense. You know, this is what my dad warned me to avoid if I ever saw anybody like that, you know, in a bar, just just leave them alone. Don't don't do anything like that. That's what this is like. Here he is just doing that again. I, I just don't know what he's even I don't know what he's saying here. Play this clip. This is a magazine that I've never read, but probably doesn't like Trump. Left wing is. Yeah, and then he talks about wind and he's he's very upset about wind and. And windmills, here, play this clip. While we struggle with wind, where's the wind? You know the other problem? We can't get the windmills. You know why? They're made in China. China says, don't worry about America. We'll give them. But wind doesn't work anyway. It's too expensive. It doesn't work. Kills all your birds. If you'd like to see a nice bird cemetery, walk under a windmill sometime. I mean, folks, this is his stump speech. This. And what is he talking about? Like, I have the full video in the description box if you want to watch it. The people at the rallies, when they show the people that are behind them, a lot of them, they're just standing there with the red hats on, t- twiddling their thumbs, shaking their head from side to side, twisting, cracking and popping their neck. <laughs> Some of them may be laughing if they find something funny. And a lot of them, it's just like they don't even know what he's talking about. This is what he goes around the country and talks about. Here he is saying that uh, uh, that the America is weak, Nick. It's a weak, Nick. Here, play this clip. Before going any further, I want to say God bless the people of Israel. They're under attack right now. That's that's because we show great weakness. This would not happen. And then he tries to talk about United States steel. But he calls steel seal. Here, play this clip. Turn it around fast. Under Biden, U.S. Steel is being so. Think of this. United States Steel Company, one of the great companies of the world 50 years ago. Why are they continuing to let this man speak? But honestly, the people that he's speaking to, they're not really paying him that much attention. As long as he says something about crooked Joe Biden or Sleepy Joe or... Trump, you know, says something about Biden turning the country into crap, then they'll sit and applaud that. But anything that's of substance, they don't really care. It's being sold to Japan. Congratulations, Japan. And then one of the things that he says, like, I'm trying to like be like, okay, what what are you going to do? Like, what's your thing? Like, what, you know, like none of this is normal and it shouldn't be normal. You know, I'm trying to watch the speech and be like, okay, like, what is it that you're going to be doing? Like, what's your policy? What are you saying to the people in the crowd that they uh, want to vote for you? Uh, this is just completely unhinged and just strange. Well, here he says that he would stop any funding to schools that require vaccines. So you're just gonna bring like polio back and play this clip. I will not give one penny to any school that has a vaccine mandate or a mask mandate. This is the Republican party. This is what, this is what they've become. I mean, please, you can't normalize this behavior. Here he is talking about how he wants to be able to pick the day when elections are held and override the Constitution. Play this clip. I wish we could move the election to Tuesday. Is there anything we can do? I want to move the election to Tuesday. 
You know, in the UK, they can pick their election. They say, we're going to have the election next week. I want to be able to do that. Would that be possible? What? What? And here he is talking about how people are coming over from from Congo. Play the clip. But people are coming from the Congo. Last night, we had 20 people come. Welcome to our country from the Congo. Where do you live in the Congo? We live in prison. Oh, that's right. And <laughs> Donald Trump, who's been found liable for sexual assault. Donald Trump, who uh, is about to be on trial for making hush money payments to an adult film actress to interfere with the 2016 election by falsifying business records. Donald Trump, who was uh, on tape bragging about sexually assaulting women. Donald Trump, who's taken away women reproductive rights. Here he is. And he says this a lot during the speech that he loves women. He says, I love them. I love women. I love them. And he says it like that's gross. It's, it's just, it's gross. I don't even know. Again, I don't even know. This is his, this is a speech. Play this clip. The day, I mean, I don't want to get into it. It's very demeaning to women. And I love women more than I love anything. I love them. Yeah, we know. That is very demeaning. And then he goes on and does this weird rant about Gettysburg and how Robert E. Lee is not in favor. I'll play the clip. Where our union was saved by the immortal heroes at Gettysburg. Gettysburg, what an unbelievable battle that was. The Battle of Gettysburg, what an unbelievable... I mean, it was so much and so interesting and so vicious and horrible and so beautiful in so many different ways. It, it represented such a big portion of the success of this country gettysburg wow i go to gettysburg pennsylvania to look and to watch and uh the statement of robert e lee who's no longer in favor did you ever notice that no longer in favor never fight uphill me boys never fight uphill they were fighting uphill he said wow that was a big mistake he lost his great general and uh they were fighting never fight uphill me boys but it was too late then he talks about how he gets upset when people say he's not popular. Play this clip. You know what bothers me, though? This bothers me. I'm always watching Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the two candidates. They are both very unpopular people. I'm not unpopular. You know, he is unpopular. He is unpopular. But I am not unpopular with 95% in the Republican Party and a lot of Democrats are going to vote for us because they don't want to have open borders and drugs for everybody, okay? They don't want to have it. Okay, C can we just pause here for a second? Uh, I just want to share this with you. Uh, just to show you how not normal this is. Remember this moment when John McCain was running in 2008, a, a true conservative, um, and John McCain was... Uh, giving a speech, and then a woman said something about Obama. R remember this? I just want this is what the Republican Party used to be. Like, here, play this clip. I got to ask you a question. I do not uh, believe in. I can't trust Obama. I, got I, I have read about him, and he's not. He's not. He's a. Um, he's an Arab. He is not. No. No. No ma'am. No ma'am. No, ma he's a. He's a. He's a decent family man citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on on fundamental issues and that's what this campaign is all about do you all remember that that was 2008 like that's what politics used to be about I mean not saying that all of these politicians were upstanding individuals back then that's not what I'm saying but it used to be about the issues mainly and so you had John McCain checking this old hag that got up there to, to say that Obama was an Arab and he checked her immediately. Now we're living in an age where they just say any and everything about these other people and they want to be in power for the sake of their own selfish needs, wants and desires. It's not about the people anymore. That's just how much things have changed. So now this is where we are in 2024. Thank you. Thank you. And then let me just show you a clip of President Biden speaking recently. Again, I'm going to show you more of what Donald Trump was doing. But like, I have to just show you, like, 
what we're this is not normal behavior. This is not what politics is. I don't even know what this is. This is WWE cosplay fascism. This is a recent speech that President Biden gave. Play this clip. It's about fundamental fairness. Here's another example. You know, uh, folks, Obamacare became known as uh, the Affordable Care Act. And by the way, it's still a very big deal. Um, <laughs> over 100 million of Americans are, can no longer be denied health insurance because of a pre-existing condition. But my predecessor and many Republicans want to take that away, take that protection away by repealing the Affordable Care Act. I'm not going to let it happen. We stopped them literally 50 times, 50, five zero times in the last administration. And we're going to stop them again. Folks. Okay, back to this debacle in Pennsylvania and Donald Trump's speech. Here Donald Trump is saying that he's going to stop men from playing women's sports. and But he just mumbles these, like, he, he can't even say the sentence. Here, play this clip. Now, I don't use it. I mean, I think it's terrible, but I don't I just say from a common sense. Is, isn't it ridiculous? I'm always I'm always embarrassed when I say and I will stop men from playing in women's. But who the hell would care? And then, of course, he's got to, you know, threaten the country and says if President Biden wins, there's not going to be a country anymore. The country's going to be destroyed. Just play this clip. Why? But the day after the election. First of all, if he wins, our country is going to be destroyed. The day after the election, if he wins, he will stop drilling and he'll go back to wind, which doesn't work. He'll go back to all sorts of things that don't work. You know, and all of the things he's even saying about, oh, well, you know, there's no windmills being made here. They're all being made in China. I was in the largest windmill factory in Pueblo, Colorado. I interviewed President Biden there here in the United States of America, thanks to the Inflation Reduction Act and President Biden's Infrastructure Act. In terms of drilling, there's more drilling right now under the Biden administration than when Trump was in office. And President Biden's also focused on climate change, which Donald Trump wants to pretend doesn't even exist. Every metric is better under President Biden than under Donald Trump. But I digress. Here, Donald Trump then says that he thinks he's the most honest guy in the world, that there's no one more honest than him. Play this clip. I did nothing wrong from day one. I did nothing yet. Russia, Russia, yet Ukraine, 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 yet every hoax imaginable. With all of the things they did, with millions of pages of study, they found nothing, which makes me perhaps the most honest guy almost in the world, I think. They found nothing. And then he whines about uh, being gagged and saying that he's not allowed to speak and he's going to have to sit there and be gagged in New York. I mean, when you're talking right now, uh, you're going to have to follow the rules like any person who goes into a courtroom. You're not going to be allowed to act like a maniac. And the gag order just says you can't threaten the judge's daughter and you can't threaten the family members of the district attorney. Like, just don't do that. Even the mafia doesn't do that. You threaten the family members. That that's that. It's a fairly limited gag order in terms of what you're prevented from saying. Here, play this clip. The entire world will witness the commencement of the very first Biden trial. They're all Biden trials. You know that, right? And I'm proud to do it for you. Have a good time watching. Have a good time watching. On Monday in New York City, I will be forced to sit. Fully gagged. I'm not allowed to talk. Could you believe it? They want to take away my constitutional right to talk. I have a crooked judge. See, that's all the rallies are about. It's just a bunch of, they call them sycophants, but it's just a bunch of fans that are there because of the celebrity of Trump. It's not about the policies or the issues. No, they're telling you to shut the F up because you're out here causing lunatics that follow you that would be so stupid enough to possibly lose their freedom by getting charged because they're out here threatening people's lives like the judges and their families and staff. It's absolutely insane. But you heard the slurred speech. You heard the ridiculous speeching speeches at the 
rallies or whatever, don't even know what he's talking about. Nothing of substance whatsoever. But you can listen to the full video. I have the link in the description box and let me know what you think. Guys, thanks so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Thank you.